Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. It's my pleasure. It's, a pl it's an honor to be here. And congratulations. It's indeed a an, uh, wonderful opportunity to be here. For now, better word. Now, the uh, lecture that you're going to give uh, tomorrow, tell us a little bit about some of the messages you're going to try and get over to that audience. Well, the, perhaps the most important message that I'd like to convey to the audience is the fact that um, uh, there is a very serious uh, epidemic in this country and throughout the world uh, that's caused by a highly pathogenic virus. And that even though significant progress has been made, there's a lot of work to do. And that everybody here can contribute to that effort to uh, better the, the health of millions of people throughout the world. And is that what you're working on currently? Correct. That is exactly the focus of our research, is the uh, attainment of a better understanding of how is it that the virus that causes AIDS infects individuals, how it causes disease, how infection can be prevented, and hopefully in the not too distant future, how we might be able to cure it. And what do you think the role of a cell biologist is with that? The basic interaction between the virus and the cells is at the heart of the matter with HIV infection. Without a cell, the virus cannot replicate. Without replication, it cannot cause disease. So there is an interlink between the cell, the host, and the pathogen. And that is why this is so important. Now you were saying that the award is not just for the, the, the work that you're doing now, but accumulation of all the work that you've been doing over the last uh, 25 years. As a Hispanic uh, scientist, what do you think some of the challenges are that Hispanic scientists face today? I think that the, the um, main challenges that Hispanic scientists have today are exactly the same as everybody else. It's trying to do the best science with the resources available and try to um, show an example of what can be done um, for the community for the scientific community and um, for all those people in need uh, of solutions to the problems that afflict humankind. Because what we're talking about is some pretty fundamental problems, aren't we? And so it's an important role that cell biologists have. Well, it is a fundamental issue to understand the basic cell biology of any virus, both uh, at the level of the host and at the level of the pathogen. So the, the um, molecular basis of disease are what has provided us with the best medications that we have currently to, tra to, tr to treat the disease. And I think that, that a better understanding of the interaction between the virus and the cell is what is going to lead us eventually to a cure. Now, we're here for the ASCB's uh, conference. What role do you think that the ASCB as an organization plays? I think that the organization plays a fundamental role in um, not only disseminating science, but also educating the public on what it is that we do that is so important. Why should they care? And why is it that uh, their support is essential for the continuum of science? Society um, has a responsibility to each other. And um, without the, the, the society um, showing the way, it's going to be very difficult for people to understand why science should be supported and why what we do is so important to them directly on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Congratulations once again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.